In this training module, we will be discussing the installation of an EPDM pipe flashing. So the first step we take is to terminate the field of the EPDM. It's important to always remember that our fasteners need to penetrate the deck by a minimum of three quarters of an inch. So after we've terminated the membrane, the next step we have to take is to flash all of this. The first thing that we're gonna do is make a target to cover the screws and plates and tie into the roof. We also, it's important that our target turns up onto the penetration by one inch. So what we have here is a piece cut to size for our target sheet. It's already been cleaned. So we're gonna take three inch seam tape overlap our tape on all four sides and apply that first. So the first thing we'll do is we'll prime the perimeter and I'm just putting it on top of this sacrificial piece of ISO to keep the roof clean. Okay. After we apply this primer we'll allow it to flash and one key thing that we always like to do before we put the seam tape on is where we prime this we got primer onto our protective ISO, we always like to shift it out of place a little bit so when we put our seam tape down, it doesn't stick to the surface in which we primed. So after we've applied primer to our target, we want to ensure that our primer is properly flashed off. We're gonna be using three inch seam tape to make this target and we want to make sure that we get an eighth to a quarter inch reveal with our seam tape beyond the rubber. Also, when we bring our corners in, we're gonna be overlapping our seam tape. To make our corners, we're going to lift this piece up and bring it underneath. And the final step to making our target is to roll the seam tape so it embeds into the EPDM. After we've made our target, we'll do a double check to make sure that we have appropriate reveals on all of our seam tape. So the next step in this is to cut the hole for a pipe or a penetration that we want to put our target around. And again, it's crucial that our target make a one inch upturn on the penetration. So what we did is we identify the center point on our target to which our penetration is gonna be placed. So then what we do for something like this is I'm going to trace a hole much smaller than the target to allow for the proper upturn on the target. So the next thing we want to do is we're going to install the rubber over the top of our penetration and work it down. The next thing we want to do is we just want to make sure that our field of our EPDM is clean before we're ready to prime it. And again, we just want to ensure that our cleaner is going to extend out well beyond where our primer will go. So once all our cleaner has evaporated, the next step we're going to take is priming so that we can mate our seam tape down to the field of our EPDM. After our primers flashed off, it's time to set our target sheet to the field of the roof.
have a couple more steps left to complete our detail. Our target's down, we have an upturn, everything's terminated, we're good. The next thing we have to do is we have to put a field wrap onto this pipe and we have to put corner patches down over where the corners of our target where seam tapes overlapped. So for our field wrap for the pipe, we're just gonna simulate a standard 20 year detail. We're just gonna do one wrap with nine inch. We're gonna apply the uncured flashing six inches to the pipe and approximately three inches out onto the field. If this were an extended warranty, we would use six inch first, applying it four inches to the pipe, two inches to the field, and then we would go over that with a nine inch, six inches onto the pipe and three inches onto the field. So after our target set, it's time to cut our nine inch uncured flashing to length. To do this, we take our tape measure around the pipe and we add three inches for our lap. So once this cut, we'll round off the corners of our flashing. We're gonna actually flip this upside down with the release paper facing up. And what we wanna do to make this wrap a little bit easier to go is with a sharp knife, we're gonna score through very carefully just the release paper and not all the way through the flashing. Once this has been made, it's now time that we can prime our pipe and our field, and once our primer's flashed, we'll be ready to wrap the pipe. So with our pipe wrap being six inches up, we'll wanna make sure that we prime it plenty high. After our primer is flashed, it's time to install our field wrap. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the wrap right where we made our cuts of six up, three down. So we'll start by wrapping the vertical and working the bottom down with our fingers. After our flashing has been set in place, it's important to thoroughly roll all of our flashing. We need to pay extra emphasis to the corners of our flashing where the vertical meets the horizontal. After our flashing has been set in place and rolled, the next thing we need to do is apply our lap sealant to all edges of our flashing After our pipe flashing has been complete, it's time to install the corner patches onto our target sheet. We have to install four corner patches and our patch needs to extend three inches beyond the direction of where our seam tape overlaps. Here we have two laps of our seam tape that require treatment with uncured flashing. It's important to start rolling the patch along the transition where the patch ties into the seam tape first. Please note that the primer extends well beyond the outside edges of our corner patches. After our patches have been rolled in, we then apply our lap sealant to the edges of our corner patches.
Miles, Marisol.